Uh, Shalom from Jerusalem. This is Uriel, LCP, Independent News, Jerusalem, Israel. Uh, sir, what is your name? Ruben Date. Ruben. Uh, now, Ruben, we're asking questions about the uh, Obama administration, uh, who basically ha has done nothing to uh, uh, deter uh, the Iranian regime uh, in Iran. Uh, yes, uh, that's correct. Uh, Obama thinks that you can negotiate with anybody, even uh, people who are implacable enemies. And that is not the Jewish uh, perspective. The Jewish perspective is that there is such a thing as an implacable en enemy. That's why we are warned about Amalek, uh, we are warned who, whose goal was to utterly destroy Israel, to prey upon the weak, the defenseless, and that is what the enemies who surround us in the Middle East are, wish to do to us. Now, uh, you know that uh, the uh, Iranian regime uh, yesterday uh, had two warships docked uh, in Syria, and uh, they're trying to provoke uh, not just uh, the Middle East, but uh, Israel as a provocation of the so-called um, naval might or uh, whatever uh, uh, they're trying to do uh, to uh, uh, instigate uh, a war against Israel. Uh, yes, I think uh, Israel can outsmart these people. Uh, the, the government of Israel isn't going to be easily provoked into doing something foolish. They will do what is necessary to do to disarm our enemies. And now, uh, do you think that America has done enough to deter uh, the uh, nuclear uh, uh, capabilities that Iran is trying to develop? Uh, no, I, no, I do not. Uh, uh, President Obama, in his inaugural address, said he would approach he would approach uh, the, the America's adversaries with with an open hand uh, and not a clenched fist. But uh, they have not responded with an open hand. Uh, the problem is Obama doesn't know how to make a clenched fist. Now, do you think that? Uh, and this is a, a question that it's uh, being said in the. Uh, uh, the Republican primaries. Uh, Santorum is uh, calling out Obama and asking him uh, uh, to really uh, come out clean, whether he's Christian or Muslim. Uh, a lot of people think that he's a Muslim. What do you think? Uh, it's, it's hard to tell what's really in his mind. We know that he had a, a Muslim upbringing for a certain number of years in, in Indonesia, I believe it was. And uh, we also know that he uh, apparently was mesmerized by a certain Christian minister whose who's Reverend style Wright, of preaching, Reverend Wright, Reverend Wright, who should be called Reverend Wrong, his style of preaching was more like that of some certain imams in the Middle East. So you think that Israel should be ready uh, for anything that Iran uh, and its regime uh, uh, in Tehran will bring against uh, the uh, Israeli populace? Uh, yes, I, I think, uh, you know, right now in Right now in the background, our viewers can see a, a, a Beit Knesset, a synagogue. It's called the Churva Synagogue. It means destruction. Uh, it, it had been destroyed on two previous occasions and then rebuilt. Uh, we should pray, God forbid, we, God forbid we should pray that the state of Israel will not go through a third Korban, that we must be ready to fight our enemies uh, uh, at a moment's notice. Now, do you know what Tehillim says to 137? That if I forget the old Jerusalem, uh, let my right hand forget its movement. Uh, if not, uh, let my tongue uh, cleave uh, to its palate. Uh, do you know that in Hebrew? Uh, very approximately. In Ashkachach, Yerushalayim, Yemini. Uh, I don't remember all the words. I need to take more help on. So now, uh, one final question. Do you think that the European Union, with this Iranian uh, not sending more oil to France and uh, I believe is uh, Britain, do uh, you think that's going to hurt the American economy? As we know, the gas prices have gone dramatically up in the last couple of days. Uh, it, it probably will hurt uh, quite uh, strongly the American economy, but we're doing my roommate. It's my roommate, everybody. That's my roommate. Okay, it, it, it probably will hurt the American economy, but we must recognize that there's a price to be paid for protecting ourselves. Uh, if, uh, if England and France had paid that price in the late 1930s, and it may have been a very big price, it would have, it would have saved uh, perhaps 50 million lives over the next decade. This is Uriel, LGP, Independent News, Yerushalayim, Israel. Shalom.